Hi folks. So in my previous video I showed you my new CM2 base and it basically went through a procedure for changing and adjusting the springs in it. The other thing that's adjustable on the CM2 base is the, um, the cams. Now there's two basic types of cams for this. There's the aviation ones which have a increasing force whenever you move further away from center, the, the further you move out, the more force you have to sort of apply. And the other type are the Cosmo. Now the Cosmo ones are designed for the uh, space farm folks like Elite Dangerous or um, Starship Citizen. So they are sort of um, linear force across the movement and you don't have to increase your, the amount of torque you're putting on the stick as they, um, move away from center towards the outer edges uh, so the by default you get the aviation um, soft center which means it has like a center detent that you know it goes back in the center uh, cams that come factory fitted because they figure most people are going to be flying flight sims with these um, and if you want to change them for something different, then you have to basically open the unit up. So I'll run through how to do that. I'm only going to show you actually ch changing one of the cams. The, the cams uh, system in this is identical for both um, left, right, forward, and back. So if you change one, it's easy enough to change the other. First thing you have to do is remove the four screws that are in the base, which I've done already because there's no, uh, there's no point showing you me unscrewing stuff. And to do that, you're going to need a 2.5 mil hex or allen key and um you'll be using this for removing those uh, base screws and also removing the cams so what we'll do here is take this cover off again access to the um, spring screw spring adjustment spring tensioning screw and i'm just going to totally unscrew this Now I'll detach the arm it's attached to. There we go. Just be clunk as it drops. Make our lives a wee bit easier. We'll just put this back on and stop it falling through because we're going to turn it upside down. Move that out of the way. And now we've gained access to the cam. I'll just turn this around for you. So the cam itself, as you see, these ones, oops, they're quite small. And there's two mounting screws on them. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is this bag is absolutely clobbered in great in uh, oil, which is really good because it keeps it nice and uh, rust free. Hopefully, sorry about that. So there's there's the cam itself. I don't know if you can see how well you can see that on that, but there it is. It runs around here. There's two attachment screws. So I'll just take these out. Set this down. Okay, that's not too hard. Okay. My hands are absolutely covered in this this oil right now. Right. Okay. So. I just lift this out. We just basically lift it forward very carefully. See, it's it's nice. There's a nice uh, uh, de dent in there to actually set it into. So that's great. There's no there's no way you're gonna screw that up. And you can see, I don't know if you can see this or not. But there are two tiny little washers on it. So that that's basically how to take one off. And if I were, I'm not going to change one in because I'm trying out the. Uh, default ones to see how they feel. I do um, mainly flying in DCS and I do a lot of helicopter flying. So I'm going to try these out and see what see what they're like. So we'll just very carefully set this back in here. There we go. And reset the screw back on. Wow, I'd love to see what their bill is each month for the oil. Make sure you have the washer between the plate and the screw. Just turn this down. Mm. 
not going to go crazy with the amount of force I'm putting on this because there you go. It doesn't need it doesn't need to be crazily uh, tight, and you don't want to risk stripping the heads. Just gonna deep oil my hands for a second. Right, so that's one done, and it's the exact same procedure to do the other. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this. I've got my finger on the bottom to stop the arm from flopping down. Remove this. And just check the alignment here. Let's turn it a wee drop. What I'm basically going to do is pull this the whole way out. And then push it back on. Now what I did notice earlier on when I was adjusting these and fiddling around with the Filling around with the springs is that I didn't need I didn't need to um, have this bottom plate off because if I if I left it like this gravity itself is going to force that down and once I start screwing the screw from the upward direction it'll just catch in there perfectly so that's great and just continue to screw that down. more screw it in you can see your I don't know if you can see that or not but you can see that the um, screw is going through this and that's basically what controls the amount of tension on it because the spring is, is compressing against the um, between the arm and the base so it'll basically that's what controls the amount of tension so that's it that's all you got to do to change the let's put that back on for now um, that's all you have to do to basically change the, the cams. It's relatively simple and it, you don't need anything special tool wise. You're just going to need a, a 2.5mm Allen key and a flathead screwdriver with a fairly large size bit to adjust uh, and remove or unscrew, should I say, the, um, the tensioning spring uh, screw. So that's it. That's all you got to do. And uh, like I say, for, for doing the other one, it's, a, it's a basically the same procedure. Just unscrew that one, lift the arm out, unscrew your uh, current cam, put your new one on, and then just put it all back together again with the four screws holding the base. It's relatively simple. I mean, it's only going to take you five minutes to do. Uh, I may try some of the other uh, cams later on. I'll probably not use the Cosmo ones because they don't really fly Elite Dangerous anymore. But the... Um, the aviation sim ones, I might, I might give the uh, no, no center one a wee go and see what it feels like. So I hope this helps and uh, enjoy your verbal cat.